So in this series of videos, we're going to look at the mathematics behind uh, rooftop solar energy systems. We begin by comparing power and energy, because that's really essential that we get an understanding of the difference between the two. When we're looking at power, uh, we generally measure it in watts or some multiple of that, such as kilowatts or megawatts. Uh, recall that one kilowatt corresponds to a thousand watts, and one megawatt corresponds to a uh, thousand kilowatts or one million watts. To provide a little bit of context of power, we look at a number of commonly used household appliances and look at their power usage. If we begin by considering air conditioners, we can see here that a portable air conditioner, the smallest kind of air conditioner, has a power usage of 1500 watts. If we go across to its quarterly running costs, we're looking at a price cost of approximately $75, uh, which is probably a lower bound of what it might actually be. Look at heaters, a 1200 watt heater um, would have a running cost of around about $36 a quarter, uh, tie set for a larger model. Now we can compare different kind of light bulbs, this is one thing that um, have we, we've made big gains in of, of recent years, the energy efficiency of light bulbs has increased significantly. Another thing we can compare here is the energy usage of refrigerators. Uh, comparing one of 20 years ago with one of the same size, uh, a more current or new refrigerator, we can see that the energy usage or power usage is, is approximately halved. So really important to note that energy and power are not the same. Um, to compare the two, we'll consider an example of a toaster running for five minutes. Uh, remember our toaster had a power of 1000 watts. Um, so we can see here over that five minute period uh, on the graph we've got uh, power at 1000 watts and time going across to, to five minutes. Now the actual energy is this area under the graph, corresponds to this area under the graph. We've got a rectangle there so if we talk about area remember we're multiplying the, the two, two sides. So in this case we're multiplying the, the power by the time. So, in other words, energy is a combination of both power and time. So the longer that we leave something on for, uh, the higher the energy is going to be. We measure our energy in terms of, uh, in this case, watt minutes. So W min would be the units for that. As I said, standing for watt minutes. Uh, more commonly, we have kilowatt minutes uh, or kilowatt hours, in fact. Really important though, it's not watts per minute, it's watt minutes, so units there. So as we already mentioned, the amount of energy we use is really going to increase either as we increase the power and or we increase the amount of time that our um, appliance is operating for. So either of those, in increase in either of those two aspects will leave it, lead to an increase in the energy. So to do a calculation of the energy, it really is just a matter of multiplying the power by the time that the appliance is operating for. And we'll have a look at an example for this for our toaster. So remember we've got a power of 1000 watts and a time of 5 minutes. So as mentioned, the energy is calculated by multiplying the power by the time, giving us a value of 5000 watt minutes which is also corresponds to 5 kilowatt minutes. As a second example, we consider the, the energy usage of a 2,400 watt uh, heater uh, operating for 6 hours. So again, we've got to consider the two axes. We've got time on our horizontal axis, which we measure in hours, and then we've got our power measured in watts on our vertical axis. And again, to work out the energy, we really work out the area under this curve. So the energy now can be calculated by multiplying the power, so 2400, by the time, 6 hours, which gives us a value of 14,400. And the units in this case are going to be watt hours, so WH which when we convert it becomes 14.4 kilowatt hours, which is the most common um, unit used in measuring uh, 
electrical usage 